Uh, we did it. So, bit of context. Uh, Jason and I were supposed to do this last night, and it's not so straightforward to to host a live stream with with two people, uh, two people's videos on. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's been it's been difficult to set up. But here we are. I think I'm actually now properly projecting the screen, uh, and yeah. it's got our beautiful Jewish faces on it. So. Yeah. I tried to set up the lighting so that my nose wouldn't look too big, um, but yeah, it looks like we got a lot of, a lot of, a uh, lot of familiar faces here in the chat room, which is which is great. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is this whole the, the point of this whole thing is um, is is to yeah educate people on on certain aspects of of how to use the website and how to get the most out of it. Um, it's our attempt at social media, I guess. Yeah, so, and it's, it's open Q and A. So if anyone's got any questions as they come through, I'll be keeping an eye on the chat. It's a good way to ask, and and hopefully we can answer things from both sides here, right? So we're going to guide you through a submission from an artist who has graciously allowed us to spend a bunch of credits to submit her song, and through that process, we'll be able to identify some of the tips and tricks that we've learned along the way and we can also give you some insight into why we present things the way we do and how the numbers are calculated behind that i know there are a lot of curators on here who uh, have a lot of patience with the constant amount of changes that we're making a lot of thought goes into all of our decisions we're we're not geniuses we we mess it up sometimes and sometimes it's trial and error but but we we do it so hopefully this this conversation will shed some light on that and we want to do it more regularly so Dylan do you yeah. want to should we should yeah we start with a submission let's, that seems like a good way let's, let's get into it uh, just if we are going to do this regularly I think I'll have to change this uh, microphone padding to be purple but anyway uh, you should ask Jerry from Unique Playlists with that he can he can probably help you with some sick swag. Okay, our first our first shout out an inside joke. Okay, so basically, I think the the it, the most obvious place to start uh, for for well, in my mind, was to set up a campaign, um, and it, it's it's not going to be that simple. It's not just setting up a campaign. I'm sure everybody here already knows how to do that. But I was I was talking to an artist who's based in the Netherlands and. Um, yeah, we were just talking and, and she was saying that on some of her campaigns, she's had mixed results. Uh, and that sort of left out to me as a good opportunity to, to, to see if we can improve those results. Um, and just also look at, look at some of the, some of the stuff that went, um, like wrong in, in the, in the previous campaigns. Just, just a, just a quick sidebar with you, Jason. That means I might need to open up my admin view if we want to look at previous campaigns. But anyway, um, <laughs> we we can yeah, do that so, as well. Uh, I think it's just better. To, but for those who don't know, because why would you know? Um, Dylan and I have access to all sorts of special, neat tricks on the website as as yeah. admins, and we thought maybe yeah. it'd be better to create the submission from a new account that doesn't show you some of the secret source but, that but we're we've not sort necessarily of, supposed we've to. Cornered, we've, we've cornered ourselves there a little bit, but but anyway, I so I have I have access to uh, well the artist's name is the Wong Janus. Um, she's a, a a very talented cello player uh, and she her her music sort of borders on neoclassical, ambient, um, and I think that it's quite an interesting, those are quite interesting genres to be in just because that playlist game is, is for me, the one of the most competitive because Spotify and, and how people use Spotify and the growth of, of functional music has made, uh, has made it quite competitive to the point where I've seen a lot of, um, a lot of playlisters trying to promote their, their playlists and just not getting the same uh, same results in Facebook ads when they try and promote their playlist. So, yeah, I guess there's there's it's it's nicely competitive, and there's um, quite a few good playlists that I think her music could fit into. 
So, yeah, I guess should we should we just set up the campaign first, um, or do we actually want to go through her previous campaigns and just kind of check those out? Because that would require a. a quick I think let's change. set up let's set up a campaign first, as if we okay. were a user. You you've got a lot of that cool. that insight in the back of your head. Uh, I do, I do, yeah, I do so. sort of have an incident in the back of my head. Okay, cool. So anyway, let's get right into it. Um, I'm just going to quickly grab the link here. Sorry, that this is going to be a little bit slow. Um, oh man, now I've now I've completely lost the plot. One second. Okay. Quality Copy. looks okay. Quality looks good. Yeah, guys, give it. Let us know if there's anything in the stream that looks not so nice, so that we can improve. Besides our faces, time. can't improve that much. Yeah, well, I mean, cameras. I think we want lower definition cameras, probably. Um, this one was released on. Let me just double check in my sidebar here, Jan twentieth. Okay, cool. So yeah, super straightforward. Also, let us know in, 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 the, in the chat room. I'm pretty sure all the chats save. Um, let us know what kind of stuff you want us to unpack on, on like other weeks, in the weeks ahead. So yeah, OK. Marrakesh with a hint of the C, Ambient Cello. It was released. You got to project. See. You got to share your screen. Am I not sharing my screen? No, you're not sharing your screen. Oh, man, OK. Absolutely. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's this, is first, this is my first live stream other than my OnlyFans. Anyway, so we're uh we are um yeah, we're just setting up the campaign. This is the Wong Janice's song. It's actually she's already set up a, a song, but we've got all the links there. I just gotta ask you, has she submitted this song already? She hasn't. Actually, Perfect. all right, fantastic. Uh, so this is the first time with the song, Janice. What I'm going to do at the end of this is I'm going to whatever Dylan creates and submits on your behalf, I'm going to go ahead and just transfer it all over to your account so that you have control yeah. over it. If you could, if you could also top up my account yeah, what's, your, here with some... what's this username? Me, uh, I think it's Dylan plus Bong at Got it. Com. Okay, cool. So is it a cover song? What did we say? It's no, it's not. Um, artist name. Uh, sorry if this is incredibly boring for everybody who who uh, who knows exactly what this is. Um, but just bear with us. So what Dylan is doing it? here is busy uploading the song to Submit Hub. So a lot of this stuff is actually optional, as Dylan is seeing here. What you can tell us about the song. With similar artists, I would say you can just leave that blank for now. In the All near right, future, save, save oh, you actual, got it. All right, go for it. In I'll the near future, copy. this similar artist section is actually going to get a bit of a revamp with an eye towards allowing you to filter your playlists based on artists. Uh, so as an example, you could say, show me playlists that sound like Bonobo or feature artists like Bonobo. And this gets into something that I'm, I'll constantly tap on throughout this conversation, which is the importance of guiding Spotify's algorithm by making sure that you get added to playlists that reflect the types of sounds you want to be associated with. Mm, so I, I want to add something here real quick. Um, and I don't know if, if you guys will agree or disagree, but in terms of, I guess I'm not too familiar with with this style of music, but I don't think you would be doing yourself a disservice by choosing similar artists who are um, more commercially recognizable, um, because not everybody is a, a genius in 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 these genres, and you might be, you know, giving yourself a better chance of that name striking a chord with whoever you're sending to. So Coldplay. I mean. Don't be don't be afraid to use Coldplay. Basically, basically <laughs> yes, but like, but but if if I you know if I were an artist, I would choose the most underground, um, you know, guy who or girl making music, and, and and then I'd be like, that is is like for me proves, you know, and, and no one would know who the heck that is. No one would know who it is. So yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, let's finish this upload and, and carry on. Ooh, fun. Okay, we're going to submit to Curious. Didn't we say this page was going to get changed as well? Um, um, no, it's the page after you submit that I want to revamp a little bit, but we'll get there. Yeah. Um, for, for newcomers, I'll just, we'll slow it down a little bit, but let's say you are a new artist on here and you've just joined us for our live stream. When you get to the screen of your submission, you've got three different groups and you can submit to curators, influencers, or record labels. The curators are going to be your, your Spotify playlist. There's your music blogs. These are the people who actually spend time sifting through thousands of submissions every week, trying to identify the best music and collate it into some sort of cohesive, enjoyable playlist or blog post or theme or whatever. So these are your old school uh they're the they're the people back at school who used to make mixtapes and hand them out so they're, they're quite passionate about it and what that means is that the decisions curators make are subjective and based on their personal opinion and what makes submit hub a little bit different is that they don't get paid extra to share your song so there's no guarantee that they're going to like it any sort of monetary transaction that happens is actually centered around the time that they're going to spend sitting down at their computer, opening up your song, listening to it, and letting you know what their thoughts are. That's kind of where the, the money is. The actual share that happens afterwards with a curator is based entirely on their preference. And if we were to pay them more, then we would actually be falling foul of Spotify's terms of service, which say that you're not allowed to pay money to influence the content of a playlist. So that's how the curators work. On the influencer side, it is... The complete polar opposite it is pay 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 money so the idea here mm. is that you would hire someone who is a TikTok or instagram creator to create a video that uses your song as the soundtrack and these guys operate in a different ecosystem it's not about having a reputation for choosing good music or curating a wonderful aesthetic or doing anything like that. They're just, they'll just share what they're paid to share. So on that side, it is very much a pay to play. And we, we, we generally recommend heading into the influencer submissions with a, a, a bit of reading first about what it entails, because you're not going to go viral. There's very little spillover from social media to Spotify. And generally mm -hmm. we find that the influencer submissions are, worthwhile for two things one filling up your feed so on tiktok if you if you see a video with a song and you click on that song it'll show you all the other videos that have that song and as an artist sometimes you don't want that feed to show up blank and say that there's only two videos it looks a lot cooler when there's hundreds of videos there and people go wow this song's buzzing so sure, we often sure. see some of the bigger labels use influencer submissions on submit hub to bulk up their feeds so that it looks active and so that the the song doesn't look like it was a flop and and so that things are going yeah the, I, yeah sorry no i would just say that like on the influencer side firstly we can we can do a whole webinar on it yeah second separate one but secondly, secondly uh, the what i'm seeing more and more is uh uh artists and labels with with a bit more uh money in the bank uh, to put behind campaigns they're using it on uh, they're using it to like squeeze more juice out of already successful releases so uh, i would say that if you're if you're thinking about using the influencer side of submit hub it's, i would probably use a song that's already kind of piqued the interest or or like garnered uh um some listeners uh Something already. that has momentum already and that you know is is sort of putting your best foot forward. Yeah. Right. The The second thing you can do with influencers is you, you are essentially paying them to create mini music videos for you. So you go, you offer a guy $5 or $10. You say, hey, put on a purple hat and and dance around to my song. And you try to get all of them to do that. And, and then you've got some sort of cohesive content that you can share with your existing fan base so it is it is a way to basically pay people to make mini videos to your stuff and then i can see that someone has asked about a tutorial on the label side and this is um there are some of our competitors who will be stoked to learn this but we are gonna phase out the record label submission side this year the it, it constitutes less than 1% of the submissions that come through. And, and yet it's something like 30% of our customer support and complaints. 
it's a it's a dodgy space. I'll I'll let Dylan speak a little bit to it, but yeah, yeah let's 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 not let's not get bogged down by that. Okay, we won't. But the label side is going to phase funny. out. It's it's labels today. I don't know if it's really the right way to be submitting to them. And I know a few of our competitors are all gung ho that they're going to launch the label side, and I think they might Good. encounter uh, a lot of the same issues we did, and eventually decide that there are there, there are too many shady characters in that space. Let's, so let's leave, let's, leave that where, let's leave that where it is. Um, we'll 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 have half of a webinar coming up on labels. We're not going to do a full one anyway. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose. Let's say specific and honest. Well, let's let's not rush um, through this. These are important things. Right. I guess I've sort of assumed that everybody who's watching sort of knows what's going on. But uh, but right. This is also this video is going to be saved. Uh, and we would like uh, new people to, to like engage with this content I'll, as well. I'll be I'll be summative. Summative is that a word? No, no, no. This so. part's fine. All right. So you can either choose premium or standard credits. Standard Easy. credits have a four percent approval rate. Premium have a twenty one percent right now. Here's the yeah. one that I wanted Dylan to slow down on: is is what kind of feedback do you want? On this one, I strongly recommend that you always choose the specific and honest feedback, and. Mm -hmm that you should probably prompt something here. It's not, a, it's not a requirement, but it is helpful as a curator to receive a song where the artist has explicitly requested some type of feedback. So hmm. I'm trying to think now what would get the most out of me as someone responding. Um, I guess when, when, you're, when you're sending your music to a curator, uh, we're gonna target Spotify playlists here, I think, just for this campaign. Um, because, uh, yeah, it was, it was mentioned to me that that was what was important. So also important when you're setting up your campaign, uh, if you want Spotify plays, you know, make sure you, you diesel, like you filter out radio stations, for instance, well, cause that's, that's, next. that's next, that's next, that's next, that's next. That's on, next. The, so, on the feedback uh, one, here's, here's what I would say with this song, right? So, but this applies to others. If I'm remembering right, the song starts out, it's a neoclassical song, a little bit ambient, but it starts out pretty slow and quietly mm -hmm. and fades in. So I think mm -hmm. a good question or focus to give curators for their feedback is something that ties in directly to the song. In this case, for example, you might say something like, do you feel like the slow intro eases you into the song nicely? It, it's, a, it's a way to... You're prompting them Make to them prove that they, they actually listened. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're Make also anticipating the fact that in this case, a slow intro in 2023, some people might think that that puts you at a disadvantage. So yeah, to... I guess I would, I would, I would, I would ask them maybe something a little bit more direct because I want to know like this, but this is also a personal preference. I want to, I want to be in your playlist and, you know what what's what's different about my song uh that is sort of what they're supposed to do anyway but i want to know what's different about my song uh than than the other songs in your playlist like can you can you let me know you know if you don't like it or, or if it doesn't fit it's not even that they don't like it it's yeah. just jerry the it? the it? pro tip you've just provided is actually about the quick pitch which we'll get to at the end this one is more for as a curator when you're writing feedback you get prompted uh, that the user has requested specific feedback and they wanted you to comment on this. Most artists leave it blank. I think about 30% of people do fill this in. And when I see it as a reviewer, it's a helpful prompt when I'm going to dive yeah. into my feedback. Jason, did you update the, the banner on Submit Hub for people to know that we have a live stream going on? I did. Did okay. I? Okay. You're always think... one step ahead. So what are we going to do? We're going to go with, um, what did you think about the intro or... Oh, shoot. What? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cool. I, then I'm going to go with my one while you do that. I'm going to say... I did, but I put a typo on the thing. What? Um, if, uh -huh. okay. Wow, this is really difficult. I haven't, I haven't even... But I want to get it just right. So I, 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 want, to, I want to find out, because we're going to be submitting to a lot of like ambient sort of playlists. Um, What? Okay, I just put the banner back. I actually took it down when we stopped streaming. I thought I thought I had replaced it with a like we're now live, but I, I actually forgot to publish it. 
So prepare for an influx of at least five more people. Oh, I found a little bug there. Um, you see how I, you see how I've typed over the numbers. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay, we'll add it to the list. Um, uh. Cool. So this is this is I'd say the next section is is the most important part, especially for all the new users out there. Um, but also, I see it's something I see uh, most users, even the experienced ones. Well, the experienced ones get it more right, um, but it's it's the genres. So my my suggestion here for the approach would be uh, we're going to run a campaign and we're going to run a campaign with just a few, a little bit of our budget. So I think we 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 want to choose probably the most relevant genres here, but we can start to test with different genres later and see how the results pan out. Um, I do kind of strongly suggest using two to three different genres because that sort of, uh, it improves uh, the relevancy of the genre match score, which you'll see later on for all the newbies and for all the, the, the experienced folk, you'll know exactly what that is. But basically, I've seen campaigns. Uh, I actually looked at some of uh, Janice's uh, previous campaigns, and, and, and the ones that sort of seemed to perform better were the ones that were uh, dipping into a few different genres. And I think that's because, um, well, I, I, think, I think it's because it's not quite clear exactly what genre this song is. Maybe we should take some time and play it now. Um, but it's not, it's not, it's not exactly clear. Like that's the, that's the problem with genres is that you, you can, I don't know, you can have multiple genres I, for I one think, song. I think this one's going to fall. Your best chances are going to be under neoclassical. Mm -hmm. what, what other genres are there? Open, open that bad boy up. I, I want to say yeah. ambient. Have we got anything like that? We do. Um, ah, so we it's, not drone. Drone. it's not drone. No, no it's not I, that. So, so there's something that, that I, that I do classical classic. Yeah. It just depends. So this is where we're so neo modern classical. I, I think it's that. Oh, oh, don't we have one that's sort of like yoga music? Uh, shit, we might. Okay. Um, let me new, go down. new age. New age. <sighs> No, so what's the, what's the just is, type type um type in there type type uh yoga? yoga. I don't think. No, Come I don't on, think type yoga. Gonna... Do it. Type yoga. Are you sure? There's two hundred. Have... Oh, this new <laughs> age dog. Yoga massage and meditation. I don't that know, is like... this song. That is it. Boom boom. Okay, Jason feels adamant about it, so I'll give it. I'll give it to him. I don't know. For me, I think I, you're good. I, gotta... I think you're good. I think you got both of yours. That's it. So we're in the classical jazz setting. Um, I would come back and experiment later on, but like I said, that's what we're gonna do. Um, and in terms of mood, uh, the the this is this is very much this new still means it's very beta. Uh, and and I've seen this used incorrectly and correctly, and I think it just helps a little bit. Um, it it uh, but... it gets factored into the genre match score. It doesn't filter out, but then it will also provide warnings as you go through mm -hmm. the list where mm -hmm. there might be a mismatch. So let's say that you say the song is chill, which I think it kind of is. I'm getting chill and, and moody because the cello yeah. is a very moody. Okay. Yeah. So I think a mix of those two, but, yeah. but it, it, it does, I do find that like we might need to expand out on uh, what chill means because yeah, people might like chill up tempo music, but it's, it's maybe a little bit too broad. Whereas like Would it energetic. Would be relaxing? Well, I think I think I think we maybe we probably don't have enough time to right. delve. This list took me a long time. I spent at least five minutes on this. So <laughs> I, I no, you, but you remember we went back and forth. We had like docs open, and we were collecting all the different yeah. Yeah. streaming platforms. Um, okay, Neofolk. That's a visual. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good suggestion there. But yeah, New Age seems to be. We should probably we should put up a vote here. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. And, so. And so Here's, here's the one feature I am thinking of doing down the line is the allowing artists to ask what's my genre for a, a, like a yes. really quick turnaround. 
So you put yeah. it up and five people get to vote on your genres and they get paid uh, and it's first come first serve. And I, I have a feeling we'd be able to get you a response within one to two minutes. Uh, but, but that might be optimistic. But One, one to two minutes. Oh, that's well, exciting. I think I would show it to curators and verified hot or not reviewers. And yeah. then um, you, you would do something like offer, I don't know. It'd be, it, there'd have to be some financial thing. Money, money, money is the, the carrot. Uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll get into that after. I think we're good here. I think neoclassical yeah. and new age are going to be great. Cool. Uh, and then this is a new, this is a new banner that, uh, because this is a new account I'm seeing. Um, yeah. and yeah, I would definitely take time to look into all those things, but we're not going to do that right now. <laughs> I revamped that yesterday. Do you think it looks better? It's a little less. You know my stance on words, but yeah, I, I do think. Well, we're gonna put this video in the corner there and be like, Wink. watch I, us. I, yeah, um, I, I, if for any of you who who don't know, which nobody would know, um, Jason and I have a, a long-standing uh, debate and joke that I'm. He's illiterate. I, 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 I don't. Yeah, I don't like reading things. I like beautiful symbols, and Jason is very thorough and clever and so he likes to read I'm anyway older. just uh, goodbye uh, i've uh, changed some other stuff here by the way i moved the choose for me button up to the top left I yeah we've also the got search some, so it's actually interesting uh, bordering here is that cut off or is that no that's just a line break okay. those ones are always a bit that's a bit smaller yeah sort of sort of well interesting i anyway I, I think, think it's just could... it just looks a little weird because that one is so perfectly aligned. I bet you some of the others. We don't want to. We don't want to. I don't think we want to have a fight on uh, on live. <sighs> yeah. All right. Okay. Let's see what's okay. happening here. So you are currently sitting uh, on the submission page. You are yeah. sorted by fans high to low, which actually I would say is a bug. I think we should sort by genre match, match by Yay. default. Genre match. And I think I should um, change that for users. Because yeah. it should automatically. I thought there. I had it. Be. I thought I had it. Well, like, you can't sort by that if you don't have a genre selected. But but if you land on this page Ooh. through the submission flow, you've got it. Um, you've got it. Yeah. Another thing that's happening here is that uh, we, because you are a new user, Dylan, this is a new account. I have taken yeah. the liberty of filtering out a lot of people. And so at the top left, you'll see it's got recommended picks selected on the filters. If you deselect that, Bing. you get cool. 102 instead of 72. So the primary driver there is actually the genre match score. When you, mm -hmm. when you choose recommended picks, I hide, for a first time user, I hide people with a low genre match and I hide people who are really, really picky. So we're talking like sub 3% approval rates. And the logic here right. is that as a first time user, you're going to be a little overwhelmed by data and information here. And so we can, yeah. we can make a couple decisions for you. Like don't yeah. send to someone with a 98% rejection rate on your first time. It's, it's just not going to feel totally, good. Totally. There's, um, there's a whole, there's a whole blog post I did about uh, how to, how to bucket, how to, how to choose specific types of curators and, and high risk and low risk, but we can unpack that at a, at a different stage. Yeah, Phaeton music um, blog wants us to go night mode. Go oh, that, that I will do for you, sir. Oh, oh look that at actually, that. that actually oh, helps. Oh. You know what? You know what I you know what I think it was? Because my um because my lighting here is so bright. I think yeah. maybe I think <laughs> your computer thinks it's like daytime. I'm in daytime right now. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's get into this. Um what we're gonna do, obviously, so this there's this cool which doesn't pop out nearly as nicely, but I'm just gonna quickly go back to day mode. Yeah. Jason. Jason has uh, kindly given uh, all new users this sort of uh, teeny tiny onboarding message. Uh, there was one up here earlier, uh, and now uh, there's one here. Uh, and they will pop up all around, and they sort of will just highlight them now. But the, the, I think they're very important for, like, for, for everyone to use. Well, so that's why they're there. So anyway, I'll go back to night mode. Um, cool. So... Anyway, here are additional filters. I don't think we want to go into those right now. Um, you, although you, there is... We, uh, no, you don't need that one. Collapse that list. We want type. Ah, I already had 
Spotify playlist is selected. Yeah. Cool. So, so Dylan's, so, Dylan's decided his campaign is going to focus on Spotify playlisters. Fair game. Uh-huh. Totally fair. Fair game. Fair game. Um, now, just just my personal preference um, is I maybe want to go over the price. Should I be saying this? I'm going to piss off some of the curators here who are in the three credit range. But this is just imagine that you're somebody who's just started using Submit Hub and you you don't know what you're doing uh i I don't want those people to have bad results and they're they're generally coming in with lower budgets um so i would say deselect that bad boy just to start with well no you don't think so i i think so go go back well well, let's go through the list and we can point it out as we go rather than deselecting it but, yeah. but this is what this is what I would do. We're, we, uh, we've got 100 credits up there up top. Very nice. I'd say that we're going to spend 20 credits on this first batch, and I'll take the three credit people out. Uh, and then I, I'd also I'd also mess with a couple of like the approval rate filter. I'd get rid of people with really low approval rates. I don't know how uh, to increase the I'm resolution. Gonna... Someone wants me to increase the resolution, but I, I actually uh, didn't know how to do that. Just so you're there. I can zoom in. I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in. Maybe that'll help a little bit. But like, how, um, how do you increase the resolution? We need, to get, we need to get some of our YouTube wizards. SD uh, dwarfs. S dwarfs. Also, I always read it as SD, a, like a SD <laughs> drive. We're, for the next stream, we're gonna we're gonna get better. We we are learning how to do this today. But yeah, this I is, think I, I think the audio is here, and, and generally it's pretty crisp. So right, and then how's this little? How's this thing? It's yeah. not purple. So we're pretty. We're pretty. We're pretty good audio wise and that's what submit hub is all about hello so okay so uh anyway let's 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 carry on we we don't need to get too much into these filters jason's already rejected one of mine but no let's uh, just start scrolling yeah. through them we're, we're, we're sorted by let's genre match and i think let's point out some of the things that we want to see here so, so first thing I, first thing i would do is i would change this setting to our uh neo-modern classical and i would make that and new age it's going to reduce how many people uh, or how many curators there are to send to, but it means that those people are going to be more likely to like your sound because they like both of these genres. And so I think that's a good place to sort of start. I'm sure that's factored into genre match anyway. Uh, well, doesn't it, when we, when you tweak it, when you click the end, does it, update the genre match score or uh no so so i'll describe a little bit what's happening here the genres filter curators who take either neo modern classical or new age but the genre match score is already considering that so someone who takes both of those genres is generally going to have a higher genre match score unless they they never approve those genres but generally speaking, mm-hmm. they'll have a higher genre match score. What Dylan just did there by toggling between and and or, which is a little known feature, is he's now only showing those curators who take both of them. As a result, the genre match score is not going to change really for Did any of these folks, but yeah. it's going to um, narrow down I mean, your results to only show people that really it, match it. It could though. It could though. What if somebody really likes neo-modern classical like really likes it it's already baked into the genre match so talk i'm just saying that toggling and and or doesn't affect the score they they might what if they love that and don't have new age selected they might still have a a pretty high genre match they might so you might actually be missing out on some people so you you got to feel pretty strongly that new age is the right genre here but I, i think look as you mentioned we and and i'm an advocate of this too you don't want to go too big up front it's better to start small, get a feel for it, see what people are doing here. And so we're still at 42 Spotify playlisters matching here, which leads me yeah. to believe we're going to get at least 10 who are at a, a genre match of, of eight or higher. Mm. So let's start going through Can the we, list before you mess with those okay. filters. You're going um, to take out approval rates. Okay. No, because we're going to see it here. I want to point out the things that matter. You want to point the things out. Yeah. Okay. Pointy, pointy, Jason. Here we go. So we... <laughs> We have these three scores. Um, I'd say that for me, when I'm scrolling through, I'm looking at genre match first, and then I sort of uh, balance that out with engagement. Um, that the engagement score is sort of giving me, uh, well, how how 
much influence this playlist has or how many listeners based on a whole algorithm uh, uh, across the site in specifically uh, the genres that I've selected. So that's um, just to explain for anybody who is new, uh, we, we have this engagement score, as I said, to, to give you an idea of, of well, how much spotlight your, your song can get from being shared by this playlister. But uh, it used to be that there was one engagement score that a playlister got that uh, sort of, I guess, calculated all of, all of the genres that they shared. But we started to realize that Spotify playlisters had their neoclassical playlist, which did really well, but they also had their hip hop playlist, which actually didn't do well at all. So that engagement score would then balance out and you wouldn't get a, a, an engagement score relative to the genres that you it were It wouldn't necessarily in. reflect how good their classical one and, and it wouldn't capture how bad their hip hop one was. What's yeah. interesting here narrowing down Spotify playlists is that the primary driver behind this engagement score is where they share this genre. And if you scroll down just a wee little bit, you'll actually see their playlists that they are sharing this combination of genres to. So in this case, Conti uh, has a 10 out of 10 genre match score. Uh, looking under that genre match column, we'll see that they approve 61% of songs that are tagged a combination of neoclassical <laughs> and new age. Um, There's a really good chance that they're going to like this song. And then you can see right there that they tend to share this to their relaxing piano playlist which averages 60 to 90 monthly listeners. And that is the primary driver behind their engagement score in this case. If you scroll down a little bit. Yeah. Well, you want to, so, I think you want to sort by shared. Sure, we want to sort it by shared. Yeah, um, and you can the, view them all. Yeah, so this one's the, the if you sort by shared, it's, it's nice because it you know, shows you specifically. That yeah, so odds are is. if you get approved by them, this is going to go into the relaxing piano one, but it's possible that it might also go into the ambient relaxation one, which so sounds that's, pretty yeah. choice for this song. And what's cool mm -hmm. here is that there's now a play button over the artwork for each of these playlists that allows you 30 second samples of so that. If I hit play, yeah, uh, it's not going to play on the, on the stream, is it? Um, Doubt it. You could try. Just a quick one. We are already 40 minutes in, so I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, we're here. I think, I think once here. we've looked at one, we can speed through the rest. But uh, what's cool here is that yeah. you, can, you can preview ahead of time. When you sort by genre match, we're essentially putting our best foot forward for you in terms of decisions, which is why I think it should be the default. And I'm not sure why I didn't have it as the default. But um, the, mm. the, so you can sample the relaxing piano. And then as Dylan pointed out at the start of this, if you scroll up, there's a little play button next to that 61.2% which also yeah. allows you to sample all of the songs from Submit Hub that have been tagged. Oh, Janice, Janice says there's genre. no piano in the song, but uh, yeah, that's great. So it's probably not going to go in the piano one. It's going to go in the... This one, which, yeah, probably going which means you still, you, still got, you still got a good chance because 94 songs is quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I'm going to play it just to get an idea. But uh, It's working. I can hear it. Is it working? Oh, because it's probably playing through my microphone. I should probably play Janice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. go for it. Um, I'll answer the question from Estorfs about the engagement score. So there are yeah. a number of factors that go into it, but if you are a Spotify playlister and you're sharing to Spotify, the primary factor in the equation will be your playlists. It's then a weighted average based on where you are sharing those songs, regardless of whether they are a shout out or a proper share. So they get treated the same for all intents and purposes. For those who are unaware, a shout out is essentially a curator's way of saying, hey, the song's pretty good, but it's just not good enough for my main playlist, but I don't feel that nice telling you to go away. So I'm going to put it into one of my smaller playlists. It's, which it's, creates, which ruffles a lot of feathers. Yeah, it's this um, gray area where it's sort of a rejection, but it's also an approval. We created it because of trying to align expectations where people would submit to a giant playlist and get added to a small one and, and get upset. Um, yeah. But the bottom line you, is that your, your score is, it's, it's a factor of how often you approve that genre relative to your other genres. 
Oh, but no, but you're asking it. So that, that, hold on, that's the genre match score. Totally different. The engagement yeah. score is not influenced by your accept rate per se. However, it is, it's a weighted average of where you're sharing. So let's take this case of Conti right here. Let's just make the numbers really round 500. So they're sharing four out of five songs to relaxing piano. So that, that average listeners number there gets a weighting of four fifths. They're sharing numbers one numbers. out of five to their ambient relaxation playlist. So that playlist gets a one fifth weighting. And they've even got a small fraction going to this piano lullabies playlist, and that one factors in a you know a, a one percent weighting. So those for all anybody, come through. For anybody who doesn't have a crazy computer math brain like Jason and just zoned out there for a little bit, <laughs> I'm I'm with you. That was basic. Um, that was just like this basic. fractions. You can if you if you replay this video later on half speed, maybe maybe you'll you'll catch it. Like, can you hear? Can you can you hear her song? No, I think it's only going to play music from this tab. I'm going to play really loud so that it plays through the microphone. You know, how's, how's that? No, nothing. No? Nothing. That's how good these, nothing. these softwares are these days. They just... What? Who's that, knocking, who's that knocking on your door, Dylan? Is that the copyright police? <laughs> um, well... Just anyway, anyway, that means uh, that I can music in the background. Yeah, um, but yeah, let's, so let's, go listen to the song on, on, on Spotify. Uh, it's gonna. Well, let me just type in the in the in the session, uh, in the in the chat room what it's called, uh, so that people can look it up. But basically, here it is. Uh, that is the name of the song. Um, you know how you sorry. could do it. Just just um, share the tab that has the player in it, and then it'll work. Yeah, but that that's on. Okay, yeah, I guess you're right. I could do that, but I don't know if I'm going to have access to we're, that. Campaign. We're we're dawdling here. We're dawdling. Oh, we are. We yeah. are. We are. Okay. Look, I think I think the gist of this is that that Conti has a really strong selection here. There's a 61 percent chance that they're going to like this song based on the genres. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Can, can you hear, hear that now? I can hear it. Amazing. I could, I could, I could relax to this. I can relax to this too. It's like a shavasana, I, shavasana moment. I think our, our annoying voices, everybody needs this break. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna skip forward a little bit to save time, but classic Gen Z that. just can't hang out for <laughs> a three fifty minute song. Okay, it's the beautiful like. Not TikTokable enough for you. Music. I get it. Yeah, I don't know if I would. Do, I wouldn't do an influencer campaign with that necessarily. Well, I mean, it could work actually. Um, it could for for that. It could. Anyway. Okay. So anyway, I think that's a great uh, one. Moving, the ambient relaxation is a fantastic selection there. You hit you hit play. So that's perfect. Maybe maybe her song is a little bit darker. So that's something that you could you could uh, test out. The songs in this in this ambient relaxation playlist are of a sort of slightly lighter feel, uh, whereas the other one is maybe darker, for lack of a better word. Uh, okay. and, and you can change. And this is where you start to change your genres and your moods uh, in 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 like the setting up of the campaign. Okay, so let's check out. Let's check out maybe uh, one. Who's or two next? More. Did you select him? Uh, you got to select Conti. Okay. Close the okay. close the player bar because uh, as someone's pointed out, we're working right. with a small resolution. Most we're, most we're losing bigger screen losing space here. Okay, I'll figure that out. So for the next one. I don't I don't know what. Let's what's carry the deal? On. So okay, John. Yeah, so this is the, this is another thing to look at, which Let's is something we wanted to point out. Is he uh, or he or she uh, costs two credits? Does that help? Uh, and has an engagement score of seven. So now if we come to this next one. Um, three credits engagement score of six. So for me, I'm just moving right on past until I'm, uh, you know, until I move, until I'm like. Well, hold on, I hold on. Look at the other metrics there. You said three credits, but what's the approval rate? I, I would factor that in. Okay. 32%. So there's a, there's a 75% chance I'm going to get rejected. Do they like uh, ambient? Because keep in mind, we have neoclassical stuff. So 
We have neoclassical yeah. and, and new age. Oh, reading music focused concentration study, romantic guitar doesn't sound right. Um, Dude, maybe maybe for genres we maybe. need to add ambient. I'm just a bit worried about drone because I don't know if this, yeah, I'm, this is I'm, drone. Do you have a little to-do list going? Because there's, there's also things that I'm seeing. Calm, instrumental, um, relaxing, mindfulness, 10 songs. Check that. Let's see. Calm instrumental. Where did you see? Wait, I was no, you just had your mouse on it. That one. Yeah. Okay, there's the classical because this guy oh, does a yeah. lot of classical. Yes. Piano folk. It's just his music. Uh, it's just, which, is, which is an interesting thing to have found out. So this is Manelli Jamal. This is Manelli Jamal. So he's got his own music in his playlist. And it actually, out of the songs in this playlist, sounds more similar to Janice's song. Yeah. So there is an interesting thing just to notice that maybe you're speaking his language. Um, I mean, for instance, you could even go look him up on Spotify beforehand. That's a lot. Of let's pressure. let's Dylan, let's do this. Um, add to the genres ambient. Add it, okay. but then flip to or. Ambient. Well, I have a feeling that when you do this, you're going to get too few people. Let's see. 26. 26. Hey, check it out. We still got Kanti we'll at the top. We're not, we're not going to get through. We're it's not going to get through. All right, let's go through these then. 27% okay. Value View Records. Let's Value check out their View playlist. Records. Three credits, 26.9%. Chill and Moody. That's also something to consider. Um, oh, Vishal more? says, skip the hell out of this one. But we've got the classical stuff as well. <laughs> yes, I love the beef. Okay. So I'm, I'm interested to know why this engagement score is eight, but the first ones that pop up here are, okay, so there we go. Seven to 120 is, is slightly higher. There you uh, go. That's the ambient chill playlist that's there. The that's ambient the meat chill and potatoes. Playlist. That's why they're on Submit Hub. Meat so if you potato. land on that playlist. Yeah. Wow, very similar as well. Do we, do we risk doing that? Yeah. Sounds totally, yeah, it sounds totally. I think so. You know Look, and, and check that percentage rate was a 27%. So, so it's, it's possible. Oh, Jerry had uh, alluded to the, the personalized messages here. Um, yeah. Sort the list by yeah, custom yeah, formula. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, Why don't you code just that? A, just a, um, a sort of how I relate to the artists using Submit Hub. If these guys don't share uh, Janice's song, I'm going to be hella pissed off because they should like <laughs> Oh, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, Vishal, that's crazy. 14,500 listeners on it. I think. Uh, let's go for it. Let's roll the dice. Yeah. Let's roll the dice. Look, here's, here's where the quick pitch might be helpful. I, I mean, you do read the quick pitch, right? As a curator, it comes, it, it's pretty prominently shown. So in this case, you could add, if you scroll up to the top and, and really say, pretty sure this is a good fit for your ambient playlist. Ambient show playlist is really lovely. I had I listen. You listen for hours. Listen, dude. The Valley View Records is in this live stream. We are done <laughs> for. <laughs> you, have to, you have to prove this song. I listen to it on a long drive to the coast. <laughs> um, but they're in Australia, so we're probably safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're probably asleep or just waking <laughs> up. Okay, so I'm going to save that one. Um, check check this. Um, uh, Lynn was uh, saying 80% chance they send you a, a snarky rejection. Uh, I would like really? to point out that they users consistently rate their feedback above average. I think these guys go above and beyond. Um, users consistently, yeah. yeah. I mean, if I remember right, these are, these guys are one of the top. Um, if you go to the options on the on the top right of their. Um, Oh, and check it out. Yeah. They've only got six genres enabled. This is got this is a match made in heaven. Uh, this is a good, where is it? Recent feedback, view feedback, third from the bottom. Oh wow. Yeah, you Kevin, can actually Kevin get a snapshot to... of their feedback. Ooh, what is this? Why is this thing still hanging around? Oh, Damn. oh look at that. Click look view feedback that. equals collapse. <laughs> and you got it. This is the process. Um, and actually, you know what? Feedback. It'd be cool if you could just like that note that says that they give um, give good feedback. You should just be able to click yeah. right there to see the feedback. You should. 
That's a good one. Okay, thanks for sharing this one with us. Nice right, tranquil right. peace here. Eight fifty one. Let's keep going, folks. If you um, if you got any questions, you can just start laying them in. We see the chats in real time, and I think there's a one minute delay on the the stream yes. appearing. So yeah, but we do see all the okay all right, ambient soundscapes. Check wow. it out. Okay, so he's approved a bunch of them before. So that's a pretty good pretty good sign. Um, that one's sort of a no brainer then. Except you know what's cool is that 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 note is showing up even though you on oh, a new account and it's showing up because cool. you selected the right artist account when you submitted. So it's based on that. But, but what I'm interested in here is which playlists, I mean, obviously uh, Janice like might remember um, which playlist click on it. What if, this, what if this is a bunch of shout outs? Click on what it. happens if I click on it? It oh, should it. crash your computer. No, it's somebody else's campaign. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So it, it didn't, it, it didn't open a new in. window, didn't it? It opened a new window. Okay. So, so anyway, I, I'd be interested to know here, which Cinematic. playlists I was shared in last time, how they're doing now. Ambient even. soundscapes. This is good. What's their approval percentage? That's what I'm curious about. So they've got a high genre match, 36, 37, 36, yeah. totally yeah. worth the three credits. I'm, I'm going for it. You're going for it. All going right. for it. This is wow. such a good selection here. Neoclassical, by the way, is one of the friendliest genres on Submit Hub, meaning that yeah. It tends to get shared more than others. Yeah, cool. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a. By it's the way, like, I also want to point out that this list we've gone through, sorted by genre match, pretty much everyone who's come up has been a really good fit. Which yeah, which uh, <laughs> a, you're gonna ruffle my feathers here and just be like, we're crushing it. Yeah, you won't yeah. find that on any other submission site. But B, if you went and uh, you they, didn't want to sit here and spend as much time as we're spending. You could have clicked the choose for me button and these guys all would have been selected. Um, so, okay. I mean, one thing to consider is uh, now that we've... I've ruffled feathers too much for you. Sorry. No, 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 no. I mean, we, now, that, now that everybody knows this genius technique of using genre so... match, everybody's <laughs> seeing you. So you're competing against everyone. Um, but luckily, Janice is extremely talented. So... Chris Luna, uh, Organic House. Chris, Chris Luna. So for me, three credits. I know, I know Chris. Uh, he's got an amazing YouTube and an amazing Instagram. Um, I would say just because if I did my research here, I would find out that he, uh, you know, is more interested in in like house music. He has hesitant. approved her previously. Let's go down and he see has. where he shares these. Yeah, it's right so there in the green box. Engagements out of his engagements out of four. Dude, Calming check it house. out. Ambience. Is, Ambience. But you see, now we're now we're paying three credits uh, for a, for a 10, 10 to fifteen. Okay, so now for this, me, that's... this raises an interesting question. So this gets into something I referenced at the start of this. First up, you're right here. Uh, he's got a, an engagement score of four and a price of three. Definitely something to double think. What is going for him here is that he's got a uh, scroll up and his playlist that he shares. This one too says it's very consistent. He shared me before. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what it's happens a good is one. if I get added to this playlist and I only get 10 or 15 listeners, they're probably going to yeah. be very well aligned with the types of listeners I want. Um, totally. totally. Try, try, um, um, try to hit listen, see- sample that ambiance one. Out. No, it's all right. So this feels way more electronic. I mean that it still feels it's very it's like, keep, yeah it's too it's too it's too synthy skip them and you can even see an experimental electronics yeah. so i think an eight percent new age and ambient drones up there but that's sort of the one that we weren't sure of at first so yeah. i for me it's for me it's a skip uh but then there you go now we're looking at nordic Ooh, but only no, five five six percent approval rate right so this is interesting no vocals uh, and beats I, that's good what is Nordic I back atmosphere? Janice. I back Janice getting in here, um, but it is a risk, and I think that's sort of uh, where where you wanna you wanna. I mean, listen, I'm going risk averse here. Um, it play depends it, play on it. How, I want to hear it. Let's hear it. Depends on how much budget you have. You just love that feature. It's only it's only like two weeks old. It literally okay. says no beat. Check no out. Beat. There's huh? no vocals or beats. 
And there's a beat in there. There's literally a beat. Reveal yourself, Tony <laughs> Adams here. I know you're next, somewhere in the chat. Next. What's this no beats? What does that mean? Ah, uh, this all sounds quite cheery. Again, yeah, I, I'd say mood wise, chill doesn't really help us out there because those are chill. Well, That's what I was saying. Chill, moody. You could, if you click on learn more, I think you'll see all of the breakdown. No, you don't. All right. Did yeah. I hide all that? right. I'm going to, I'm going to veto that one. Okay. Um, I think, yeah. Uh, okay. Interesting. Our first sort of feedback. So <laughs> what we haven't done is gone through her, uh, her previous campaigns, but I think this is sort of putting all of those to bed. Um, the, the, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind jumping into some of the things that I sound, I, I found out, but, uh, yeah, I think we've, I think, I don't think we actually let's, need to do that because, because we've, we've, covered, we've covered everything here. Like, like that I would have addressed. Yeah. Uh, I agree with you too. Um, everything we're going through yeah. from here is just practice in some ways. It's, it's that simple. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, just listen, like you can listen to the, the playlist on submit hub, you know, yeah. the things I look at the, the genre match, which you can now actually listen to a lot easier the and the approval percentage and then the credits so let's say that 5.7 percent really high genre mm -hmm. match does seem fairly aligned maybe a little too happy for what we're doing if they were one credit i would probably do it the fact that they were two credits both dylan and i this one with the low yeah, Nordic, approval yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean also just just a sort of devil's advocate there that means that they're very strict with their curation which can often be a good thing that's why their um, but engagement's so high. It depends, it depends on your budget and it depends how, you know, how many other outlets you've tried. You could probably, uh, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll save this one um, to picky customers. Um, yeah. And then I, and then I can just, you know, come back to them later uh, in my, um, in my, in my favorite section. Bang. I can, I can check them out on, on future campaigns. So people you do like, you can, you can, you can hang on to them. I can, we could similarly make one for Chris Luno uh, and, and it could be people who've approved me before if yeah. you wanted to, but okay. So uh, yeah, anyway, th th this is, this is sort of what I would suggest people do. I find this quite relaxing and fun. Uh, but I'm also not trying to market my music. You don't so. find this relaxing. You scroll through this list all day, every day, and just find problems. <laughs> I know. But I'm I'm quite enjoying myself uh, being being on this side because I think the results are actually pretty good. Um, and, and, and in these genres, there's sort of kind of a, a happy amount of approvals. Um, everyone we've chosen is, is above the site average which yeah. is currently 21%. Why don't you just go rating. ahead and, and submit that one quick and then let's do, you wanted to just touch on a couple of things in her submission. We're okay. approaching 9 Yeah, uh, Yeah, I think we can go over by like 15. Let's see, maybe we get a vote. Um, let's let's actually let's actually just ask uh, Vishal what he wants. Uh, do you want us to keep going? Okay, so I'm going to submit this. I'm going to submit this for now. Submit it. Um, submit it. So... Should I send this to, I don't know her email. Actually, I do. Um, no, you, you can. Are you going to do it? I'm going to grab her email address real quick. Um, and then I'm going to. I think I said at the start, um, Janice, that we would transfer this stuff over to you, which we, we can do. I can, I can put this on. I'm just going to do this anyway. Um, email me. Yeah, that's fine too. Fun. Okay, cool. So, cool. We're going to hit submit. Um, and this then, is the, the page that I was going to change to instead of an email saying, hey, your submission's uh, gone through, I was going to do this. Interesting. Here. Interesting. So I'm going to quickly join uh, our, our meet from my admin page. Um, I'm going to turn off my camera. Oh, I'm going to no. join. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. No. What have you done? Mm. You have to stop sharing. <laughs> <laughs> okay how's that no no there's no sound there Dylan how's that now yeah I don't know which one you're going on though sorry that's not gonna work um oh wait I was gonna swap over 
Okay, rookie error. Give me one more second, guys. There's a lot of pressure here. All right, everyone. It's just me. Oh, there. Damn, he's back. Okay, I'm back now. But now I'm on my other my other Google. Jeez. Okay, rookie. How how's everything sounding out there, guys? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, great. That was a smooth, smooth transition. So Super I'm gonna swap. Smooth. I don't think my... anyone noticed. <laughs> so I'm gonna swap into uh, Janice's account here. I'm gonna I'm gonna share my tab. Um, just give me one second. So I'm going to share tab here and it's going to be uh, Janice's artist profile. Cool. Um, so let's just zoom in so that we're slightly better resolution. Cool. For, for anyone who's new to Submit Hub, uh, when we set up the campaign, this is the artist page that gets created. Um, you can deck it out with all of your social links but there's already um, stuff that are, people don't get to see here for example those users that's admin only right i'm trying to block i'm trying to block it with my with my hand i'll scroll past those real quickly um do you want to show that's people what we this just did. okay right so uh yeah we can go into this one uh done two months ago i'm just wondering if you see anything that we we maybe don't want people to see no then. like there's an approve button which curators see so artists probably don't even know that exists but Okay, so this is, this is, songs from this is, yeah. Janice has given us consent. Uh, consent is uh, important. It's true. So we anyway. just show someone's results here. Yeah. That would be me. So going, going into the submissions, this first one, I actually didn't think uh, performed badly at all. Uh, out of five submissions, seven responses, 15 credits used, uh, two were approved. Um, one of them being a shout out, which actually turned out to be uh, better for her than, than, than the proper share, which, yeah, I guess sort of happens. Um, so the, the first thing, uh, I, so I looked at other campaigns that were run by different people, but linked her artist profile. And I found that they had more success with similar, similar sounding songs of similar quality um, and I think the first thing that stood out to me was that there was just this ambient and drone genre being used, which we have identified uh, throughout this live stream as sort of probably a genre we need to uh, split out into either ambient or drone. Uh, and, I, and I think that if we weren't listening very closely to each playlister's music, then you know, we might see genre match, ambient drone, which is what I think my song is. And then you send it to them and actually it just wasn't, it just wasn't that right. So I think that that firstly, that's like quite uh, an important uh, thing, thing to, to take away from that. Actually, it's kind of, it's kind of the only thing I really wanted to point out. Um, but what do, if what you do go... the responses look like? What kind of feedback did we get? Okay. So uh, let's see huh. if we can, this is a well-composed piece here and fine soundscape. However, for my concept, this is a touch too experimental. That's good feedback. This is great Thin. feedback. Excellent. Deep. On behalf Looking of for Janice, ambient, you should totally click drone. that specific enough button. Mm -hmm. Specific. <laughs> Are we right? I, I don't even think I have the ability to do that. Sure it's you not, do. Not oh, her. No, uh, well, you're not the owner. Oh, clever I'm not, me. I'm not the owner. Clever, clever me. You. I want to find who do we, so look like Chris Luna was sent to and and I I think the song is is sort of similar to the one that we were. Uh, he wants more synth with. drone sounds. We're totally right not sending to him because it's not synth. We were totally right. Uh, so, yeah, struggle to connect with the melody. Can't do much about that. Everybody likes different melodies. This one was the shout out. Uh, we've got Rishi. Oh, but he's actually well. explaining there that I think he gave it a proper share instead of a. Um, so, so, so we yeah, just I lost mean, I guess... hip hop though, so maybe we should cut this. He's, you know, it's 9 p.m. here. It's 9 p.m. Wait, who did we, we've lost people? I uh, know, I'm just, you know, people are saying goodnight in the chat. Okay, bye, Josh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, me too. I'm also tired. Wait, did you cut the stream? No, we're still streaming. Oh, okay. Don't okay. you worry, we're still here. 
but um, well, I actually, if yeah. we want to do this regularly, I don't think we have to 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 be on here too too long. Um, we don't. No, no. I think we'll we'll wrap it up just now. I'm going to skip past those, and then I'm going to go to. So so this was this one uh, I found quite interesting. Uh, Rich Mortimer, I believe, was the person behind setting up and 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 running this campaign. Um, and his approach seemed immediately sort of different. Hello, close range. Yeah. So you can see here, there's a there's a whole number of genres selected, and I think that that's actually a pretty Dude, good. Dude, twelve out of thirty is a pretty good approval rate. A pretty good okay. approval rate. Um, and and yeah, the quality of the, the playlist seems to be quite good. Um, in in general, yeah, I mean, there's 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 some interesting ones in there. I, I, like, I'm not going to go into each one and look at like what was good about them, what was bad about them, but. It's a pretty good. That's a pretty good approval rating, and I think that uh, that's largely to do with. I don't know if he listened to e each playlist's music. I don't even know if a year ago we had that feature. We didn't. Um, but the just by choosing multiple genres, uh, I think he was able to to kind of access people who were more interested in in, in music by making his. Choice and genres like many, and that makes it more specific because they like all of them, um, or some of them. But anyway, that that was just that was just my my big takeaway, and I think that you combine that with what we've sort of gone through already today, and and those are sort of that's kind of how I would do it. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna stop sharing. Jason, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, look, my my mind's going a little flat. How about this? If anyone's yep. got any last minute questions that they want to ask, uh, ask we are, are here to answer. But otherwise, as I said, the chat is real time. I think we read the chat in real time, but then there's a one minute delay on the, on the, yep. the video feed that you're seeing. So if you don't have any questions, that's fine. Wait, there's one question here. No. Is that you, Jason? Yes, it's me. <laughs> oh, here's a quick question from the one and only yeah. Janice. Yeah. Uh, in one of my previous campaigns, I submitted a cover, but the curator rejected it, saying they don't accept covers. Is that eligible for a refund? Yeah, if you were to let us know about that, I think we would probably refund you for it. Um, and there is indeed a setting that they should be enabling to say whether they do or do not want covers. So if you accurately yeah. selected that it is a cover... And they mm -hmm. then gave you feedback saying it's not a cover. That's the type of feedback that just uh, um, drives us crazy. So, yeah. so yeah, we're pretty would, quick to I refund would report them. I would report them. Uh, and so we'll the take best care way to report them, well, yeah, if you're just not happy with feedback in general, choosing the, the um, not specific enough button or what's it called? Unhappy, unsatisfied button is a good way. If you really want to bring it to an admin's attention, then you can either open up a ticket or in your case, you have a, delay, a, a direct uh, contact to Dylan. So you could probably bug him. But opening up a ticket from submithub.com slash help is probably the quickest and easiest way to do that. And from there, we'll, yeah. we'll launch a little investigation. We'll give them a bit of coaching about how to improve their feedback if it, we find it, any it, other issues. Yeah. And uh, We've, uh, if, we end, if we end the stream now, it'll have been 69 minutes. And I think that's pretty extraordinary. This, how old are you? It's so funny. Okay, well, uh, I guess wait, we're going to have stuff pouring in here. four hours and 20 minutes. Um, next live stream. Uh, for yeah, curators, a live stream for I don't understand. Yeah, you know, that would be an interesting one too because I think many artists don't really understand what it looks like. My only worry doing that project, Dreams, is that we would have to show a lot of information that those artists aren't necessarily consenting to, uh, including pre-released yeah. songs. So we'll yeah. have to think through the best way to do that. Um, why are there not enough sub decisions inside the R and B uh, genre? Uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually asking them if they have any su suggestions. So, and also course, Serene, don't worry. Uh, this, the whole thing will be up on our YouTube after this. So you can catch up on anything. Um, thank you, Aaron. Um, and yeah, if uh, Stoff Malone, yeah. uh, if, if you so have suggestions. Four hours with Dylan, we've got, we got three hours left, man. 
we can do that. <laughs> Dude, you know, I need to eat dinner. Um, but 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 yeah, if you have suggestions for uh, genres, just DM us or email us, uh, and and we Dylan will actually add it to is in charge of monitoring the suggestions for genres and either approving or poo pooing on them. Yeah, we're we're quick to reject suggestions until there's some momentum behind them. So it usually takes two people to request a genre for it to really happen. Um, yeah. Um, how do you become cool. a verified reviewer on Hot or Not? Maybe that'll be the last one that I answer. So Hot or Not, for okay. people who don't know, is a section of the website where artists can rate each other's songs. The idea is that if you rate someone else's music, you can then submit your song to be rated back. One of the things that we, we noticed was that the more valuable element of Hot or Not was often the feedback that you received, but 75% of the time, the feedback was pretty vague and clearly just because someone was trying to rush through a song so that they could earn ratings on their own song. So uh, two weeks ago, no, probably two, time flies. I think, I think maybe even two months ago, I rolled out something. Are you smoking on a live stream? <laughs> Sis, man. This is Gen Z. A, Come on, keep up with I thought, kids. You I, thought you, I thought you couldn't see it behind the, <laughs> the green. green. You got to green screen <laughs> that out. Um, anyway, yeah. so verified reviewers on Hot or Not uh, earn uh, credits quicker for providing feedback. And the idea behind it is that we are looking for people who genuinely seem to be putting in the effort to, to write quality feedback that other artists would find useful. So there is no total rule of thumb here there's actually four of us reviewing these it's um i don't think dylan's ever looked at one but it's it's myself jeremy uh james I, and felix who are who are sifting through these oh wait no there's five of us because uh atrocity yeah. is also in there there are five um, of us looking at this and we've all got slightly different definitions and we chat about it a lot but what we're looking for at the end of the day is probably something 20 plus words that is genuinely demonstrating that you've listened to the song, but also providing something constructive about it. We're also trying to make sure that um, people aren't overly positive. A lot of the requests to become a verified reviewer that do come through are from people who are just like banging drums, love the heck out of the guitar, keep it up, man, you're going to be a rock star. And then the next one. And so technically they're referencing the song, but it, it just doesn't feel genuine. Uh, and I don't think, I don't think that that's always... The artist is trying to be nice and supportive and helpful, and that's actually not what we're necessarily looking for with the verified reviewers. We're looking for people who are taking it seriously. That's what it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. Uh, basically, um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just. We're gonna round the session off. Uh, thank you guys for being here for this. And if you have any questions, you can. You can hit us up. I'm gonna close this out with just a, 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 bit, of, a, bit, of, a bit of a thank you. So yeah, here we go. This is great. <laughs> How funny is that? Okay. Anyway, that'll be that'll be us. Okay. Thank you for joining our. Thank you for joining our stream. That's all we got. Uh, and see you next week. How about crazy, that? Crazy, crazy diamond. Keep shining on. All right, peace out, peeps. All right, cheers. Bye. Wait, we gotta close. The, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end.